In this video, we'll be looking at totem armor, an exciting new way to protect your best creatures. And joining me is Bill Stark. He's a former pro player and magic developer for Wizards of the Coast. Rise of the Eldrazi is packed with awesome new cards, and I'm excited to show off some of the great new stuff. So, totem armor, what's it all about? Well, totem armor is a new keyword found on some auras with enchant creature. If you ask me, nothing's more fun than battling with impressive creatures, and totem armor is a great way to make a statement on the battlefield. For example, here's Mammoth Umbra. In fact, each aura with totem armor includes the word Umbra in its name. They represent the Spirits of Zendikar that enhance and shield your creatures. And there's some pretty crazy stuff going on in this set, with the Eldrazi rampaging all over Zendikar. So, a little shielding can go a long way. Exactly. To make it on Zendikar these days, you have to be pretty tough. Each aura with totem armor provides the creature some sort of bonus. Increased power and toughness, or maybe additional abilities. Well, that sounds good so far, but auras have always been a little risky, right? I mean, you get some nice bonuses and abilities, but if your opponent has a removal spell, you lose it all. That's what sets totem armor apart from most auras. Whenever a creature enchanted by an aura with totem armor would be destroyed, instead you remove all damage from the creature and just destroy the aura. This works whether a spell or effect is trying to destroy the creature, or if it's dealt lethal damage. Let's see that in action. So here I have Runeclaw Bear. I've enchanted it with Eland Umbra, an aura with totem armor that gives my creature plus zero plus four. All in all, a 2-6 creature that's chipping away at poor Sam here. If Sam tries to destroy it with a Doom Blade, he won't quite succeed though. Go ahead with the Doom Blade, Sam. One Doom Blade, coming up. Now when Doom Blade resolves, only the Eland Umbra will be destroyed. The Rune Claw Bear will emerge unscathed, although it no longer enjoys any bonuses from the aura that was destroyed and returns to being a 2-2 creature. Okay, okay. Well, let's back up a bit. What if instead I cast Heat Ray with the X equaling 6, so 6 damage? That's, that's got to be enough, right? Nope, same result, I'm afraid. The Heat Ray will deal 6 damage to the Rune Claw Bear, which in most cases would be enough to destroy it, but not here. Instead, all the damage is removed and the aura is destroyed. You could follow up with another way to destroy the creature, but the damage from the heat ray is removed before it can do anything. Bill, Totem Arbor seems pretty similar to another ability that can shield creatures, uh, Regeneration. Can you explain some of the differences? Sure, Sam. As you've noted, both Totem Armor and Regeneration can prevent a creature from being destroyed, but Regeneration carries with it some additional rules that Totem Armor doesn't. For example, Regeneration taps the creature, but Totem Armor doesn't. Regeneration removes a creature from combat, so it stops attacking or blocking, but again, Totem Armor doesn't do that. That's a cool benefit to Totem Armor. What else? Some spells, like Terminate, state that the destroyed creature can't be regenerated, but those spells won't stop Totem Armor from doing its thing. Awesome. Uh, can we check out our combat example? Sure. Here I have two attacking creatures, a Cudgel Troll and a Glory Seeker enchanted with Spider Umbra, an aura which gives the enchanted creature plus one plus one in reach and has totem armor. So if you cast Doomblade targeting my Cudgel Troll... Uh, wait. How about I cast Doomblade targeting a Cudgel Troll? Very good. And in response, I'll regenerate the Cudgel Troll. Now, when Doomblade resolves, all damage will be removed from Cudgel Troll, it would become tapped if it weren't already, and more importantly, it would be removed from combat. And it won't deal combat damage that turn. Not so good for your strategy. Agreed. Now try to cast Doomblade targeting my Glory Seeker. Well, it's a good thing I brought my Doomblade deck! Very handy, Sam. Now the Doomblade would destroy my Glory Seeker, so instead the Spider Umbra will be destroyed. But behold, my Glory Seeker is still attacking. And that Glory Seeker continues on to smash me for two damage. Creatures on Zendikar don't slow down when their Guardian Spirits do their job. Now, once an opposing creature is enchanted with an aura with totem armor, how can you deal with it? Well, there are still a few ways. Let's go back to my previous attack with that Glory Seeker. This time, instead of Doomblade, you're going to cast Urge to Feed, an instant from World Wake that gives a target creature minus three, minus three for the turn. Well, it's a good thing I brought my Doomblade Urge to Feed deck. <laughs> right. So when Urge to Feed resolves, my Glory Seeker becomes a zero, zero creature. Of course, any creature with toughness of zero or less is immediately put into its owner's graveyard. 
This isn't the same as being destroyed, so totem armor won't help here. In addition, totem armor won't help if the creature is being exiled or if its controller sacrifices it. Now, what happens if a creature is enchanted by more than one aura with totem armor and then is destroyed? Excellent question, Sam. Why don't we take a look? So here I have my trusty Glory Seeker, this time enchanted with Eland Umbra and Spider Umbra. And look, it's already attacking you. Fun. <laughs> yeah, fun. But I have my Doomblade deck, and you don't look afraid. This isn't going to work out well for me, is it? You'll just have to cast that Doomblade and find out. You just have to cast that Doomblade and find out. Okay, both of my orms with uh, Totem Armor want to jump in and save my creature, but only one gets to. Because I control the creature that would be destroyed, I choose which aura with totem armor will be destroyed instead. In some situations, I might want the Eland Umbra's extra toughness, but because you have no creatures to block with, I'll stick with the Spider Umbra's extra power and choose to destroy the Eland Umbra. And as we saw earlier, the Glory Seeker is still attacking. You. For three. Well played, Bill. It's clear that totem armor can be pretty powerful mechanic. Creatures can armor up and attack with little to fear. True. When we were playtesting Rise of the Eldrazi, Totem Armor was popular among the developers, especially in sealed deck and booster draft games. As powerful as some of the cards we've shown you today are, we think players will be pleasantly surprised when they see everything these auras can do. It's really fun to just make your creatures enormous and head into battle. <laughs> I totally agree. Well, thanks so much for joining us. There's plenty of amazing stuff going on in Rise of the Eldrazi, so make sure to check out those other videos. We'll see you next time.